Look at those pecs. They're sticking out a little bit. Yo, what's up everyone? Boys, for the brand new year, we're gonna be kicking it off by doing a $500 giveaway. Yes, $500 cash. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Anyone can win from any region. So good luck to everybody. Prowlers is Pog. Yeah, Prowlers is good, but I think Gale Force just is a lot of fun. It's to give another option. It's not necessarily to say it's the best build. I think Prowlers is the best build. I just think Gale Force is very fun too. You know, sometimes people just like to do something unique and fun. All right, guys, so we're going to be showing you guys the brand new OP Blue Cane build. The instant one-shot full crit Gale Force build. Good chat, I've been meaning to show you guys this for a while. And YouTube. Pretty much the reason why we go Gale Force, it is an instant burst. It is a lot of damage. At level 6, it's 220 damage. That is so much. It's very good for snowballing, and it also gives you mobility per every legendary item you get. So you're going to be very fast. I'll try and teach you guys kind of how to work it. There's a very neat tactic that you could do with Kane where you can use your Gale Force in the wall and it doesn't move you at all. So it kind of is like your W. So you can W Gale Force someone in the wall and instant one shot them like that. The reason why I build full crit, it just synergizes really well. This build actually scales better than the Lethali build for damage. It also snowballs faster. So the thing is, a lot of people are more comfortable with Lethali because it's a guaranteed sure thing, but this is something that is very good. I think I'll look for the early gank bot here. I want to get as many blue orbs as I can. So guys, I'm going to show you the runes. These are the runes, Dark Harvest, the Ultimate Hunter, and Inspiration Secondary. If you guys are wondering the full build, we're probably going to be going Gale Force, Ionian Boots. Um, I like to get Man Immune, typically. And let's see, there's uh, the Collector. Or Dominic's Reminder and Infinity Edge. That's typically our full build for this uh, full crit one-shot blue cane build. Stay tuned to find out more. Alright, we're going to use our smite here. Just going to look for the early gank bot. Gotta ask them again to let them push. Sweet. No ward. Okay. Nice. Easy kill. So this is where we'd get our tier, get a control ward, and we're gonna head to our top side now. Probably gonna lose a camp or two from the Camille, obviously, because I went for the early gank bot. See, the thing is, I'm not really playing to AFK farm, I'm playing more to get my form. Cause like I said, I want to snowball. We can fight the top scuttle, but uh, I guess we're not. I still get Gromp and all that. The so Nunu's going to the bot scuttle right now. It's one of the junglers that is prioritizing farming over ganking. Pretty awkward, honestly. I feel like that's always a bad idea. I just want to prioritize ganking. Especially with the jungle XP changes going, coming soon. Maybe killer right here. Nice. I typically like to get a pickaxe, by the way. For one of my early resets. Works pretty well, I think. I should fight them right here. The heck is that? What was Ari doing there? When did she even get there? I don't see why she flashed there. That's kind of weird. So this is why sometimes it's just smarter to AFK farm because the enemy Jung sometimes just plays like really insecure. Like he's playing a tank Jung with 91 CS at 10 minutes. It's just embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. If I played like that, I'd feel so embarrassed with myself. If you're Karthus, that's how you play. If you're Nunu, you're supposed to gank. Just shows like people not knowing how their champ works. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to buy two. I forgot I have Futures Market. <laughs> what? I think we win this game regardless, so I'm, not, I'm just not gonna say anything else. I buy Nunu. See, a lot of people ask me in these type of games, why don't I go red to stop and kill the Nunu? But the thing is, it's not my job to kill the Nunu. Like, let's say, hypothetically speaking, I one-shot the Ari and the Aphilios. Then why would I need to kill Nunu? 
That's what a lot of K-Mains don't understand. They always see like a tank and they be like, how am I gonna kill the tank? It's not your job to always kill the tank. All right. Um, so we're gonna get the almighty collector. The crit pain build starts now. I have more CS than the Nunu now. Because the thing is, is that Kane is a champ where I can clear my entire jung and then kill their team like nothing. Nunu can't really do that. That's why it doesn't make sense for him to AFK farm early and perma invade me. It's just weird. Alright, well I can't make it bot in time, so I'll just shove mid. This is called applying pressure Twitch chat. See, now maybe I can look to rotate bot because it's still going on. This is called map awareness Twitch chat. Mobies, your MS is so slow right now. Twitch chat, should you tell him or should I? Wrong with Mobies? It's not that anything's wrong with Mobies, it's with this build, you don't need Mobies. Does anyone know why? Let's do a little Q&A. Does anyone know why? Because Gale Force gives you uh, mobility per item, so every item I finish gives me 3% more mobility. So I can go Ionian Boots, get CDR, and still be very fast. But it's more in combat speed, rather than just out of combat speed. Gale Force work? Yeah, of course. Works amazing. And this is not just any Gale Force build, it's full crit Gale Force. You want to see me try 1v1 to Camille? Now Twitch chat, I'm a trained professional, so don't try this at home, all right? Don't try this at home, boys. Ain't as easy as it looks. Actually, you know what? Try it at home, please. I actually want you to. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this, so you guys can try the build. So you know what? Actually, you know what? You're all trained professionals. I just gave you the license. Twitch chat, you just got your first license on Gale Force Kane. How do you feel? Now you're a licensed licensed Gale Force Kane player. Okay, he's flash. A weird champ, but no, no issue. That is a real champ in League of Legends, by the way. <laughs> Twitch chat, that is a real champ in League of Legends. And here comes the Anivia! Bonk. I critter. Let's see a funny combo. <laughs> you could you could you could W Gale for the same time and it instant burst them like that. <laughs> That's how it looks like. It's it's really funny. And then with Collector too, <laughs> with Collector, you just one shot him, dude. Now people are starting finally starting to realize like my my secret plot my secret wait ow oh I lived boys I lived alright Twitch I try and guess what item I'm gonna get next I already said it earlier but let's see if you're paying attention so we go full crit so it's gonna be um for Dominic's we're gonna get the Edge that'll be good okay so Lord, Dominix. We'll get, we'll farm a little bit more so we can get our Ionian boots too. Plus we'll be ahead. See, this is exactly what I was saying. Nunu should not be AFK farming early, man. Like, you just should not be AFK farming with a Nunu, bro. I think I gotta reset right now. I don't think I have time to get Ionian sad. Oh, their team just ran it. They just ran it. I get a long sword though. Three, two, one, boom. All right, so. Yeah, we can get Man Immune and Infinity Edge. That'd be good. Lord Dominix has recently just been buffed too, so it's huge. 35% armor pen, 1% crit strike, 35 AD. So we have... That's not the C key. That was not C. That was D. Um, we have 35% armor pen and 12 Thali. Let's see if I can combo her. Give her the combo. The Gale Force combo. No, I shouldn't step up. There it is. There it is. 
You hit that W, you just kill him. There's no escaping. And then once you get out, you bonk him one time in the head, and most times you crit, and you just boom. Just boom. Just boom. I love it. It's actually such a fun build, I'm telling you, you guys gotta try it out. I feel like a lot of you probably are gonna still like Prowlers more, that's perfectly fine, but this is just a build to try. I think it's definitely a great alternative. There's obviously some downsides, like a little bit lack of um, CDR, but your burst is still very high and your damage is just amazing. It scales better too, actually, than Lethali. A little bit more expensive, but it scales better and Gale Force snowballs earlier, so it's very nice, actually. Hope you guys try that out, let me know if you like it. Fun little game here. <laughs>